every lecture will start with announcements, which are posted to cs61a.org. If you're just joining the course, welcome. Make sure that you sign up for Piazza, which is also linked here on the top of the course website. The first two lectures will be held in Zellerbach Hall. After that, we'll move to Wheeler Hall, which is our regular lecture room. If you haven't yet, please sign up for a lab and discussion section pair. When you sign up, you're going to sign up for both a lab and a discussion that are paired together because they're taught by the same teaching assistant. And that's really good. You see the same person twice a week. That means they can get to know you and you can get to know them. The lab is on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday before Wednesday lecture. And the discussion is on Wednesday after Wednesday lecture or Thursday or Friday. During the first week of classes, there are discussions, but no lab. If you want to find material from past website, you can go to fa19.cs62na.org. And there's already an assignment posted. It's not really an assignment. It's just about how to set up your computer to participate in the course if you want to use your own computer instead of one of ours. You will have access to Soda Hall 24 hours a day so that you can use our computers in the Soda Hall lab rooms, which are 271, 273, 275, and 277. So some students decide to do all their work on our computers. But almost all students these days do have their own computer, and they'd prefer to use that because they don't have to come to Soda Hall. And that's what Lab Zero is all about. It's not due till next week, but you're meant to get started this week. Try to follow the instructions to set things up. If you run into trouble, we'll have drop-in office hours on Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. in 380 Soda, where TAs will be available to help you configure your computer or work through any issues you have. If you don't manage to finish Lab Zero this week, that's okay. Come to Lab One next week, and the TA there can help you finish Lab Zero setup. But during Lab 1, there will be a new Lab 1 assignment. So if you get everything set up beforehand, that's better. And bring your own computer to Lab if you want to use it. Otherwise, you can use one of ours. You don't need an appointment for office hours in this course. You can just drop in. My office hours will be Monday and Wednesday after class from 3.15 to 4.30. They really start right after class, which ends at 3 but it takes me a while to get back to Soda Hall, and sometimes students want to talk to me right after lecture, so that's why I said 3.15. But if you come to live lecture and you want to start talking to me at 3 o'clock, that's fine too. But most students don't come to my office hours. They come to the course staff office hours. There's nothing wrong with coming to my office hours, but those are only held two hours a week, where the course staff office hours will be held for about 20 hours a week so that there are lots of times when you can come get help if you get stuck. That schedule will be posted soon, and office hours will start next Monday. There's other useful stuff on the course website. Here's official material, such as the slides for the day, and the examples for the day, and the readings from the textbook. The textbook in this course is just a website. There's no paper version. Over here, there are resources created by current and past TAs that supplement the regular course material. One past TA wrote a whole book. You can search for other resources, and then you get to the main content. Here's Lab Zero, which is due Friday the 31st, next Friday. This Friday, we'll release Homework 1, which is due next Thursday. Next Monday, we'll release Lab 1, which is due next Friday. Now, most people finish lab early. The typical thing is that people finish it while they're in their lab section, which happens Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. But if you don't get it finished then, you can always finish it up by the Friday of the week it's released. The due dates listed on the course website are unlikely to change. I will also list the times and dates of midterm exams. If you want more information about the course, Here's the course syllabus, which contains all kinds of policy descriptions. And you're welcome to poke around and see what else we provide as part of the course website.